Investment, Trade and Industry, Honorable Moses Korea. Thank you. Yes. Thank you, Governor. My brother, Governor of Siaya. Bas. What a day. What a day. Governor James Orengo, Your Excellency, my brother, the only youth leader of Sierra County, Dr. Buru Oginga, Yongozi Water, County Executives, Joduro Untie, Joduro Mall. See, I am also. Jarego Dinadi. Nigeria Lakinini. I have some people who don't understand our language. So just allow me to continue in national language. And you know, I've been launching these industrial parks in Swahili. So today I'm happy it is the only day I can launch an industrial park completely in English. A testament that I'm in the great county of Siaya. You know, during the Second World War, there used to be fighting between, let us say, Germans and the British. And during Tea time, someone will just shout tea time. And when they shout tea time, it means everybody focus on having a cup of tea and there's no more shooting and no more fighting. Today, I'm in Sierra to, to shout tea time. <laughs> that there comes a time when we put our differences aside and focus on what unites all of us. And this journey of development and this battle to put money in the pockets of our people is actually a moment of tea time when we pack our guns, get together as brothers and sisters, in the words of Governor Orengo, one people, one country, one nation. I am here today to culminate a very busy week, a very fruitful week, which started in the plains of Lake Kipia, a county which brings together all communities of this country, from Kikuyus to Luos to Masai, to Turkanas, to Pokot, on Monday. On Tuesday, we were in Nyatike, in Migori County, launching a similar industrial park. And yesterday, I was in Kisi, launching another park there in the land of Bananas. And today, I came to the land of Jaramogi, and the land of Obama, and the land of Baba. And the land of the great James Orengo to say that indeed development has no boundaries and we are all one people. What would make me more proud that coming back here in Alego in two years' time and finding, as per my estimate, around 20,000 people working here, working on a very driving fish industry. Where today, I am not coming with new fish. It is the same fish that is found in this treasure of yours called the lake. But I am here today to ensure that you reap maximum benefit from your fish. The same, same fish that you have. Once we do value addition, once you do processing of your fish, 
Once you sell your fish directly from Malego, as that young girl has said, from Siaya to the world, it will make my heart melt with love. How happy will I be if today I'm wearing clothes which are not benefiting the people of this country? But when we work together on the cotton industry here in Siaya, and within two years, we come back and say, we are now wearing clothes made in Siaya, not just by tailors of Siaya, but Siaya farmers toiling in their farms and helping us to clothe ourselves. For indeed, it's a shame that 60 years after independence, we continue to import clothes when we can actually make our own cotton. The same for all the other products. I have seen a lot of activities on sunflower and other edible oils. These 150 billion Kenya shillings, that money will benefit people of Malaysia, people of Indonesia, people of other countries. That money will create jobs in Indonesia and Malaysia. It is my humble contention that these jobs are required here in Kenya more than anywhere else. If we continue importing shoes, when we can have seen here some efforts to have some leather coming from fish as a byproduct of fish. And as I said on Monday in Laikipia, I look forward to next year where I'll ban all imports of shoes so that the people of Siaya and the people of this region can be able to convert fish into leather, into shoes, into bags for our ladies, into belts, so that we can also put money in our pocket. This program is a shared program. Kenya shillings 250 million from national government. Kenya shillings 250 million from the county government of Siaya. And I want to thank my brother, Governor Orengo, and the county assembly, especially the county assembly, for supporting the governor's program. I must say the governor has been, I must say the most enthusiastic governor on this program. Although it's a program for the entire country, he has always been bothering me. And yesterday he had to come to Kisumu to ensure that I am there. And he gave instruction to the airport that they should close the airport for me until I launch this industrial park. I want to thank you, Governor, for that cooperation because really it makes my work easier. When we have a governor who is progressive, a governor who wants to do the best for our people, and the governor who knows that one day after we leave this world, we are going to be remembered by our actions. Governor, I want to tell you for what you are doing today. These people of Siaya, I am very sure they will vote for you again. But that is not important. What is important is whether they vote for you or not. Me and you, we have got very high chances of seeing the kingdom of heaven because of what we are doing today. And I'm very, 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 very proud of that. So guys, let us work together to uplift the lives of our people. Hakuna uchaguzi mwaka huu. Na hakuna mwaka ujao. So can't we keep ourselves busy by focusing on development? Then when the next election comes, we decide now tea time is over. We go back to those other things. And if possible, even those ones, we leave them behind and we forge together as one United Nation. <laughs> Sitting here, standing here as a minister in charge of investment, trade, and industry, I feel a, chance, I feel a sense of foreboding. When I remember the journey that myself, brother James Olengo, Senator Bolo Gindo have come from. On 20th of January, 1994, we were here a whole 29 years ago to Baraja Ramogi Odinga, the man who instructed Otieno Kajoang to represent me in court and get an injunction that stopped me from being expelled from the University of Nairobi. And when I came here to bury him, I actually me came to thinking we were coming for a burial until now James Olengo quoted Mark Anthony and told us that he was not coming to bury Oginga. 
one year later, when we had our first anniversary, the first Teroburu of Jaramogi, I was at Kangoka Jaramogi. And I remember I was sitting next to Oburu, and Oburu had a very long kabuti. That time, Moi, President Moi, had said there's not going to be any live music in that Teroburu. And the leadership of this region was saying, no way. So we were there, and it was getting dark. Ole Seguno was there. That time, not as a civilian president, but a former military ruler. And when the music started, I remember it was around 6.30 PM. Okachi Bigi started playing Sara. <laughs> and as they say here, no sooner. Had Okaji Big started playing Sarah, tear gas was thrown. <laughs> and I remember Oburu and I, we were helping each other by the cactus at Kango Kajaramogi to escape. From a DC called Kirito Amai. And then we were whisked to safety. We went to a powder farm, and Baba prepared for us the best chicken I've ever tasted in this side of the world. That is 28 years ago. Today, I'm here as a minister. Orengo is here as a governor of Siaya. Oburo Ginga is here as a senator. And Makamu is an ordinary citizen. Makamu, <laughs> I told him, go back to Siaya. You are spending too much in time in Kisumu. But he's a good friend of mine, and he calls himself my ambassador at large in CIA and Kisumu counties. So, Governor, as we agreed, for us to gain meaningful uh, use of this industrial park, we must also focus on production. And at the heart of this issue of production, we need to ensure that we give these people the means for them to act for themselves. We've talked for many weeks now about the issue of cotton seed rings. I sent my peers for industry, Dr. Juma Mukwana here. He worked with you. And now, today, this morning, I had a discussion with our Ministry of Agriculture. And we also had a discussion with you. And we agreed that in the spirit of real devolution, we have to ensure that we give counties the capability to produce their own seedlings. As you have promised me, as we build this industrial park here, as we seek to bring investors from all over the world to come here, we need also to ensure that uh, you have your own capacity to produce your own seedlings. You have promised me that you'll avail, apart from this land, another 70 acres in Ugenya, our Department of Agriculture, our Kenya Plant Health Inspection Service, KEFIS, our Kenya and, uh, Agriculture and Livestock Research Organization, CALO, our Kenya Seed Company, they will come to you from next week to start working on a farm for multiplication of cotton seed rings, of sunflower seedlings, of av avocado seedlings, so that next year you don't have to wait for me to come and bring them because you can be able to do it here. And that's how we are going to support the revolution. And that's how we are going to develop this country. On top of that, once we finish this industrial park, one of the state corporations in my ministry called uh, Kenya Development Corporation is the one which is going to be here to operate this center but most importantly, they will come with money. They will come with money to give credits to these people, to give them credit so that they can be able to buy inputs, to give them credit so that they can be able to do their own value addition, and also to bring money to buy equipment. We are going to buy equipment on a model we call common user facilities. That means even a hustler from Larieda who does not have any money to buy big equipment can come right here, use the common user machines that we put here. For example, they can come 
with their fish here, rent our machine, process the fish, rent our packaging equipment, pack their fish, sell to the export market right from here. You don't have to be big and nobody is small to be able to use this industrial park. We want to grow together. You know, I say, if all the 47 regions of this country are able to pull together, Kwetu, Tunatoka Kitu Fulani, Hapa, Samaki, Hapa, Cotton, Apareya Kisi, Bananas, another area, Beef, this country will grow and will be both to rise together. That is why I am very much focused on ensuring that we have got 47 mini economies that are all working, producing, pro contributing to our national good. And you know, in 1965, Mboya, Kibaki, and other people, they did a lot of good things. But there's one mistake they made. And I'm sure Dr. Oburo Ginga will support me in this one. This session of paper number 10 of 1965, that is a source of all the problems we have in this country. When people put ink on paper to say that there is part of this country that is classified as useful Kenya and other parts which are classified as useless Kenya, we are still paying for that misadventure that happened 60 years ago. And that is what I'm trying to resolve to this. For me, all parts of Kenya are useful. There is no one part of Kenya that is useless. Because you are contributing with your fish, with your cotton, with your sunflower, with your avocados, are you not shareholders? You, by the uh, mere products that you have that can contribute to our jobs, contribute to our foreign exchange, contribute to our national GDP. Everybody in this country is a shareholder, and as I complete this program, you'll be able to see that we can all move together. Siku ya Jumamosi, mimi ni shabiki wa mpira, na na shabikia team inaitua Chelsea, Huko juu. Na hapa chini, mui mlajua ni mtu ya golu mahia. Kogalo. Kogalo, eh. Asante sana na mungu wa bariki. Thank you very much.